Welcome back to Coach's Corner. We're going to talk about the Pohai Steppers with Kristen Smith. The last time we talked with uh, Kristen was before they went to their national uh, competition in Denton, Texas. And that was uh, several weeks ago. And uh, today is uh, the day where you can, I know how you did, but you can update <laughs> all of our viewers on, on how well those girls did this year, Coach. Okay. Uh, my girls did a great, great job uh, at nationals. And you know, but, but I'll tell you, this one was a tough one for me, and it was a tough one for uh, a lot of my girls. Um, we, we did very, very well. They brought home five national championships, which uh, is amazing, uh, but, but we really did that with heavy hearts all weekend. Um, one of my girls, uh, her grandmother died uh, probably hours before we got on the bus uh, and left on that Friday morning. And um, her family and, you know, Caitlin and her family both uh, thought that she needed to be with the team and she needed to compete with the team. And so she went with us and then her family left on Saturday right after uh, in order to, to go to the funeral. And then one of my uh, drill team girls from four years ago, Shelby Seabaugh, uh, passed away unexpectedly and uh, very tragically. And I did not find out about it until uh, the night before we left for nationals. And... In fact, I talked with her mother probably 30 minutes before I got on the bus, and uh, that was truly one of the hardest conversations I've ever had um, with anyone. So, um, as I said, it, it was a rough one for me. It really was, and it was a rough one for a lot of my girls. But, you know, on the, on the bright side of all of that, they were amazing. They, they held up under the pressure and, and all of that, you know, kind of black cloud around us, and, and they just did an amazing job. Real proud of them. Well, that is uh, that puts it all in perspective. Though you can win all the championships, but uh, the reality of of somebody dying. I mean, uh, yeah. that probably takes a, a maybe it was a softer coach this year. I don't know. I think it was. Yeah. I, you know, I'll be real honest. I think it was. I was pretty quiet all weekend. I was I was pretty introverted all weekend, uh, and my girls could see that. My girls could sense that. Um, you know, it, it's a rough thing. I've coached for a long time, 23 years, and uh, I have never had one of my girls die in, until now. And in fact, I'm leaving tonight right after tryout clinic to drive to Arkansas to go to her funeral. So, um, but, but again, you know, it just again shows how disciplined and how focused my girls are. And, you know, they, they overcame all of those things and, um, you know, went out and, and once again, gave performances that, that Ponca City can be impre incredibly proud of. So, you know, let's talk about some positive stuff now. <laughs> you probably get yourself into the moment and, and everything, it's, it's like anything else. You're really focused on when they're mm -hmm. performing. What were your national championships in? My team won the national championship in military and in prop, or, and we always do a hoop. And um, then they were second in the high kick and they were second in the palm. So, uh, I, I honestly, and I know I'm prejudiced, but I honestly thought they should have won the palm, but I was not judging. So, but I mean, their palm was just amazing. Um, but they were second in the palm. And then my officers won all three categories that they were in. They were in officer military, officer kick, and officer palm. And they won all three of those. So uh, those were our national championships. They, uh, they did a great job. Uh, my team ended up third, and my officers ended up second. So... Definitely something to be proud of. It's a lot of hardware, folks. We've seen it. It, <laughs> it is. Uh, and I know we always have somebody in, in the kicks that does very well. Did we Did we have somebody this year? We we did. We actually had nine girls who uh, qualified for Miss High Kick. Uh, Alyssa Tapp is uh, who went the furthest in the high kick comp competition this year. It was uh, really, really competitive this year. Not that it isn't every year. It, it is. But this year just seemed ridiculously competitive and Alyssa made it to the semifinals so she did a great job too. I haven't been there in about five years but it just seemed like this competition in Denton you would always say it's just stronger and stronger. It is. I mean that was five years ago uh, so for me is it a lot stronger than you think it was five years ago? I would say yes. I would There's say a lot yes. of schools in Texas I mean. Well you know there are and we, we had schools from Texas, from Kansas, from Arkansas, from Oklahoma, from California. I mean, it, and yes, a lot of them are from Texas because it is in Denton, but people from all over the country come. And, um, and you know, Texas is so large and growing so quickly that it's new schools crop up. Mm -hmm. And so every year somebody new that is just, I've never heard of, I haven't seen before, and that is just amazing, 
you know, comes out. And uh, that's, again, what happened this year. The team that won the large division was Rockwell Heath. I've never heard of them. And that they were good. They deserved to win. They definitely did. They were very, very good. So I, I can tell you the competition is so great. There's so many great kids out there, oh, too. Yes. And uh, for you guys to be right in there every year punching is, uh, is certainly a credit. Now you come back and you have very little time to uh, rest on your laurels, <laughs> if you will, because uh, you start a new season and uh, I guess tryouts are coming up. Oh, yeah. Tryouts are coming up Wednesday the 9th. So that is very, very quick. And uh, we had tryout clinic start this morning. Um, and I had about, probably about 70 girls in the gym. So that is a good number, uh, especially since I have 18 leaving this year. And um, we have clinic in the morning and in the evening, and, and girls are, you know, already excited and, and ready to get going once again for a new year. And uh, how will that process work? How many will you end up taking when the final cuts are made? I will have 35 at the end. I've always said if there's a tie at the 35th spot, I'll take 36. That's what happened last year. That's why I had 36 this year. And, um, but my, my normal team size is 35. So and 18, 18 leaving um, your program that's got to be is that the most since you've been coaching no actually it's not um two years ago i had 20. Mm -hmm. so um but it's, it's it's unusual especially two years so close to have that many seniors leave so um but you know it, it's hard when over half your team leaves uh, uh that's kind of rough but you know we're gonna make it i saw some good talent out there this morning so that's good very good. Thank you for your time. Kristen Smith-Bohan, she is our Pohai Stebra coach on Coach's Corner. Thank you.